So welcome back guys to We Talk Boxing and today I'm going to be talking about the potential fight which has just been called off in regards to Shakur Stevenson versus Joe Cordina. Now this fight was set to take place on the undercard of the Arthur Paterbia versus Dimitri Bivol fight on the 12th of October but it's been cancelled because Shakur Stevenson has been injured. Now it's a hand injury for Shakur Stevenson, meaning that it's going to keep him out now from now till 2025, when at some point between now and then, he potentially will return to the ring. So it's said in the article from Boxing Scene that um, he's had to undergo surgery straight away, so which is a good sign because um, it means that if he's had the surgery now, then you're looking at a good three month. Well, six to, six to eight weeks, give or take, for it to pretty much heal. Um, and then hopefully he could try and get back into maybe doing some physio work and then potentially into some light training. So, again, yeah, he's that fight's not, not going to take place now on the undercard. And it just means that what does that, what, what's going to happen to Joe Cordina? Is he still going to be on the bill? Are they going to look to try and get a, a late replacement in for Joe Cordina? Um, it'd be interesting to see to see what happens because, for from a Joe Cordina point of view, um, training would have um, you know what I mean he'd be he'd be halfway through his training camp now because there's there's a month left to go before this uh, event was due to take place. So um, it's a bit disappointing for him, but hopefully Eddie Hearn and um, Obviously, um, Turkey Al Sheikh, etc., could potentially get someone in for for Joe Cordina, um, and it doesn't have to be a good, credible opponent. It's just got to be someone that um, Joe Cordina could potentially get in there and fight with, or I guess they just potentially just pull Court Cordina from the card, which would be savage, <laughs> because obviously he's, been, he's put he's put the work in, he's stayed fit. Um and he obviously wants to fight and he would have been well, he would have got paid I should say um some decent wedge from from this fight with um Shakur Stevenson so yeah it'd be interesting to see what happens and who the potentially they could get in as a replacement um I'm not sure what Leah Woods doing if he's got a fight lined up um has he been training I don't really know that would be a good fight um. Or, yeah, maybe a Zelfa Barrett. I think his name got thrown in the hat um, to fight Cor um, Shakur Stevenson. Has he been training? Could he maybe be enticed into getting in the ring at a short notice with Joe Cordina? Or potentially could they maybe get like an Archie Sharp um, who not long ago fought and lost? He's another British guy. Um, could, could they potentially do that? Um, because I'm guessing a lot of the guys now top guys anyway are going to potentially have got fights um, lined up or not long ago fought so yeah be interested to see um, stay tuned and let's see what happens but yeah disappointment for Shakur Stevenson but he's young he would come back he would bounce back from it but it's not a good sign if he's having problems now with his hands because we all know what happened to Mayweather. Obviously, Mayweather, when he was roughly a little bit, same age as Shakur, a little bit younger, he was bombing people out left, right and centre. Then he had hand issues and he just, you know I mean, he had to change his game. And we already know that Shakur Stevenson is a boxer, he's not a puncher. So if he's got to change his game, how is it going to change his game? It's not going to make him any, it's not going to make him turn into a bomber in terms of like a Deontay Wilder or Tank Davis. So yeah, it'd be interesting. Will he go a little bit more defensive? Will he be a lot more conservative? Um, yeah, it'd be interesting to see. Let's wait and see. But as always, please subscribe and comment. Bless. Mm -hmm.